Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and this is an update on the comet that's in our skies at the moment. Comet C2023 Atlas. I won't say the whole word because it's a little bit difficult to say but I'll put it on the screen now. So we've had this comet that's gone around the sun. It's visible in the sky. People have been taking pictures of it. People were taking pictures of it before it went around the sun and now that it's come around the other side we can see it now in the Northern Hemisphere after sunset. If we're lucky enough and we've got clear skies, I haven't seen it yet. Now, if you saw my last video, you'll know that I went out to try to take a picture of it from the promenade and I was successful, but only just. There were very, very blurry pictures and the conditions were terrible. The wind was coming at me, the clouds were rolling across the sky like that, but I managed to get a picture of it just the other day, I went out, the picture's on the screen behind me here. I'll put that picture on the screen for you in just a few seconds, but I just want to show you this first. Check out this picture which somebody sent me. Dr. A.B., all the way from Macau in China, took this amazing picture of Comet Atlas. Just look at that. That is amazing. And he captured that not long after it had gone around the sun. I think it was taken sometime last week or maybe last weekend. Yeah, when it was still fairly close to the sun, as you can see, it's in very, very bright twilight. That's a fantastic picture, and thanks to Dr. A.B. for sending me that photograph. The comet, at the moment, is moving further and further away from the sun. It's moving away from us as well, so as it does move further away, it will probably get a bit smaller and a bit more faint, but it has got a very nice tail on it. I just want to show you this picture now that I've got on the screen. Just check out this picture that I got. This is my best picture which I took of the comet when we went on a little, we had like a little star party last week on Thursday. We went up the coast away from Blackpool and I managed to get this shot here. Okay, now I managed to get that shot there just using this camera with this lens and it was the last picture I took of the night because before that, before I took that picture there, we had loads and loads of cloud in the sky. We arrived at the site at about seven o'clock when it was just starting to get dark. The sun had been down for quite a while and there was clouds rolling across the sky. And I just pointed my camera in the general direction where I thought the comet was. And I managed to get this series of pictures here. As you can see, the comet is there. I couldn't see it. We couldn't see it. And one of the reasons why we couldn't see it is because it had a blasting moonlight we had a full moon going folks yeah and that didn't help so we had cloud and we had a full moon rise as well the moon was just blasting the western part of the sky as it rose towards the east so we had a full is it a hunter's moon i'm not really too sure but everything seemed to be against us and i did my best to see if i could see the comet with my naked eye but Unfortunately, I couldn't quite see it. But by the time I'd taken this picture here, by the time I'd taken this one, it must have been a good hour and a half after. It was around about half past eight when I took this picture and the comet was much, much lower down. Now, when anything goes low down in the sky, a star, a planet or the moon, it goes into like a very kind of thick atmosphere. You get the thickness of the atmosphere and whenever things go that low down, it starts to get a little bit, uh, gets a bit wobbly. Things get a little bit more faint because you're looking at it through more atmosphere. Stars start to twinkle more. The moon starts to go a little bit shimmery, you know. So that, and it's the same with sunset because you know when the sun goes down, obviously you're able to then look at it with your eyes. I don't advise looking at the sun, staring at the sun with your eyes, but you can definitely look at the sun at sunset. As long as you don't stare at it, I'm not, not saying you should stare at the sun, but you can definitely see the sun at sunset. Whereas when it's up in the sky during the day, you cannot look at it because it's just too, too bright. But it's the same effect of what I'm talking about here. When anything gets low down on the horizon, it starts to get a little bit more faint and a little bit more difficult to see. So I managed to get that picture there and the settings were, it's a Nikon D850, a 50 millimeter f1 point lens a bog standard lens i think the aperture was f2.8 and i shot for six seconds at iso 640 or something like that and i managed to get that picture there which i'm quite pleased with actually it's a nice seascape we've got the sea we've got a long exposure of the sea a little bit of the beach 
and we've got some nice stars and a little bit of twilight in the sky there. I just played with it. It's got a really nice tail in it. Look at the tail there, isn't it amazing? It's got a lovely tail to it. It's just a shame that we couldn't see it. But anyway, what I want to do now is I want to have a look and see how the comet's looking now. I think it is going to be a little bit fainter. Let's have a look on Stellarium and see how the comet is going to be for the next uh, week or so. We'll have a look right up the next weekend. So here we go, this is Stellarium, and this is how it looks as I'm filming this now. It's the 19th of October when I'm filming this video, and this is how the sky looks after sunset. We've got a bright star there, just above the tree, that's called Arcturus, and that's your guiding star towards a comet. If you can see that star there towards the west, what you wanna do is you wanna scan towards the left. So you want to scan towards the left and you might be able to see, you might be able to spot Comet Atlas there, it's out to the west there, yeah. So use Arcturus as a guide, but remember it will get further and further away to the left as the days go on. I'm just going to fast forward the days now, here we go. I'm now going forward on the days. We're going to head towards the weekend and you can see the comet is moving. It's moving slowly, slowly towards the left hand side of the screen. Now I do think that the more towards the left hand side of the screen it's going to get the more towards the south as it is. It's going to go into the Milky Way there actually. Um, it is going to get a little bit fainter for us and it, it uh, probably won't be visible for a whole lot longer. So, and it's going to be around about 25 degrees up, at least from where my latitude is anyway. I'm at 53 degrees, so that's roughly how high up the comet's going to be from here. So there you go, that's a little look at where the comet is going to be for the next week. Remember, I think the earlier the better. Get out there after sunset as soon as you can, as soon as the sun drops below the horizon, start to look then because you never know. And if you can't see it, just take pictures of the sky. Just use your phone or your camera and just take pictures of the sky. Use that bright star Arcturus as a guide. Remember it's going to be to the left of that star by a, fa a fair amount. Um, we're at about 30 to 40 degrees. If you can work that out, 30 to 40 degrees to the left. And remember, it's moving all the time and it's getting further and further away. So this might be our last chance, folks. This week, hopefully the moon is going to become less of a problem because the moon is going to rise later. We were a little bit unlucky. We were very unlucky with the clouds and we also had the moon. So they combined to make sure that we couldn't well, one of us could see it in binoculars, but I, I, I didn't even have any binoculars with me because I couldn't even do that. Either. So it's, it was not easy for us to see the comet, but at least I got a half decent picture of it. I'm very happy about that. So there you go. That's, uh, that's the update on Comet Atlas. Um, let me know how you get on. If you manage to get any pictures, I might show them on, on the on the next video. Yeah, it's not looking too bad. Last chance to get it, I'd say, this week before it moves probably too far away and it gets a little bit fainter. Anyway, I'll leave you there now. I'll put a little bit of information in the description for you if you want to find out a bit more. But that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one and don't forget to keep looking up.